Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 15th, and today was a beautiful, hot, hot day, um, turned into be crazy storms later in the afternoon, but it was a beautiful day in the morning, we got up, got a few things taken care of, decided to go um, do some yard sailing, kind of drive around the motorcycle a little bit, kind of more of just a reason, excuse to take the bike out, drove around, hit a few yard sales, nothing we couldn't live without, nothing important really at all. <clears throat> had a couple things. I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind having that, but I don't need it. It's just a you know kind of gimmicky crap that I would never probably use and didn't really want. So I had fun with it. Got back to the house, checked the dogs, took care of the dogs and stuff, all the fun that comes out. We got a um, young pup here that is very, very needy, so you can't leave her alone very long. She just, she's a good dog. She's just high, she's high energy, and she needs a lot of attention and stuff, which works out real well because I don't mind giving attention to the dogs. And Bruce plays well with her and stuff. They got to run around, have themselves a real good time and stuff. Um, heading out here a little bit. Headed back in, we decided to go do some um, house shopping. So we went out and basically did a little bit of house shopping, all that fun stuff that comes with it. Um, basically, we, I don't know, I think we hit three or four open houses. Nothing really that was like on our list where we went, well, we want to see this house. It was just, we're kind of killing time. We're just seeing what people have, get some ideas if we decide to remodel and or build new, what we might want to put in our houses and the things we don't want to do. There's a lot more things we don't want to have in our house than what we're finding what we do want to have in our house. And ironically, we saw a handful of houses today, some that are way out of our budget, some that were, you know, way below our budget. We got to think of stuff if we're going to buy another house. And it was funny because at one of the yard sales, one of my neighbor's houses that I've talked to guy for, he does some woodworking, has a nice little uh, Morton building garage there and a Morton building carport. It's like three or four lots. It's a really nice setup, nice little pool, little pool house. Um, house is small though and no actual garage to the front like you put your cars and stuff into so I got to think about that I'd have to I don't want to come to the gate every time the motorcycle so I'd have to refence part of that yard or I'd have to put up another like an actual garage out front so I could pull my bike into because I don't want to drive the I don't want to get up open a wooden gate try and keep the dogs from getting out and that kind of thing stuff to put the motorcycle away every time I go in and out so that would definitely have to be an add-on and I asked him I said is this like a garage sale for getting enough stuff or are you moving and he said they're gonna be possibly they're moving so he stuck like they're very adamant moving and asked him how much I wanted the house. I've been wanting the house since I was over there a few years ago, probably three years ago for the first time. And I went to the shop. I love the giant yard. It's a beautiful setup and all that. And the price is a doable price, but the no garage. And I got to see the layout of the house. I've been in the house with him three years ago, but I don't remember the layout of it. And I'm not sure the rooms are at. It's small. It's not, it's, it's, it's nice. So it's got a great, amazing, like back living room. They added like a family room thing in the back that could really be easily done for like if we did move mom down here or something like that and stuff she could kind of have her own living room we'd have a second living room in the house um, but I'm not sure where the bedroom layouts are so it got converted into a two bedroom which is even a thing but if I added on a garage it's like the be the north side of the house but added on a garage there I could easily add on a bedroom and a garage on that side of the house and probably wouldn't cost that much I'm guessing 40 grand maybe you could probably put on a nice um master bedroom master bath on that side of the house and just kind of maybe add a little small garage up front for the motorcycles and i got my shop out back so i wouldn't need you know a big garage up front so i actually have two shops carport and a shop both so i'm going to look into trying to see about getting uh, talk to some financing people about that and pot my goal is move there it's literally one street over from me move in there uh, spend maybe two three months at most flip this thing real quick get all new you know put new drywall on it stuff patch everything up stuff get it all repainted probably put flooring in it and then update that kitchen maybe update the bathrooms. I don't know if we're going to sell it and update the bathrooms, but I kind of want to turn it into a rental. So I just update the kitchen with some contractor grade stuff. Um, probably update the bathrooms a little bit, maybe coat the um, tiles in because they're a little bit older looking tiles and make it into a rental. And it'd be nice because I can literally see this house from my backyard. I, we can, you know, if so things are getting real bad, if they're out of hand, I can hear them if they're making a bunch of noise. I'd have a little bit closer access, but I'm also right, not right next door looking at my renters every day, all day, which would be really, really nice to have. So we're going to do some checking on that whole thing. I'm um, not really sure with the COVID because I'm really not working right now. So I'm not sure how it's going to work for finances and stuff where it's going to be in that process of what's going to take place there. So we're going to see what happens with it and kind of who knows. I don't know. I might get inside the house and Karen might hate the layout inside the house. So it really will not matter. But we got back from uh, that and we were both tired. We were up until like 3.30 in the morning, Friday night this morning. Way late, way, way late. It just We got talking in the bed and stuff got to just watch some, some things and just kind of you know just had a good time we just didn't feel like going to sleep we were up super late which is not really common for us so we were up way way late um ended up taking a nap on the couch woke up hot as hell like just we were so hot it was like sweating got the ac kicked back down um all the good stuff there ordered a pizza um i went for my run got back home got a shower karen ordered a pizza went and picked it up got back and i think we ordered a large um like supreme whatever on sale and it was definitely it was the smallest large i've ever seen 
and I called him like I even measured like oh I guess well we'll just give you you know parts credit so he gives us a little credit for another you know towards another off a of pizza or whatever so I was not real it was it's not great it's pan pizza and literally like we normally with large pizza you'd have a couple meals out of it easily maybe three if it's like one of those giant big larges but we could eat this whole pizza ourselves we left back a slice a couple slices just because we weren't gorging ourselves but if I was hungry I could have easily eaten this whole pizza in one setting and that shouldn't be the case for two people in one large pizza so. Went ahead, um, watched some Netflix, chilled out a little bit, ended up outside here on the, um, the dogs play on the yard again, just having a good time, had myself a cigar. We had crazy thunderstorms come in, like lightning, thunder, like just loud, like it was bad. Karen was jumping and twitching and scared, like it was hitting outside. And I swear it was way worse than any hurricane we've had. And she says the worst lightning she's ever been in her life, but she grew up here in Florida her whole life. Lightning capital of the world. Like this thing is like just, it was some bad, bad stuff. Like my windows were rocking, literally here, like my cabinets rattling it was shaking the house so bad and stuff it was definitely a scary scary thing but we had a great time it just overall we got through it no big deal the dogs didn't seem to mind too much they had a little bit of barking here and there especially the lightning flashes we're getting them they got to barking a little bit and stuff but overall it was bad we didn't lose power didn't lose netflix even which was cool so chilled out had ourselves a go in and flying ourselves to bed a little on the early side because like i said we were up way too way too late last night so anyway that's all we got for right now i'll talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching